and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, it is indeed a privilege for us to, uh, to be walking with the Lord and to be looking into the Word of God and find those instructions for life and godliness and so relevant for practical living. Um, you know, as we uh, look into the Word of God, we, we see that uh, God really desires for us to walk just like He did, um, the Lord Jesus, um, just like He did and also to minister in the way He did and um, to share the gospel um, with power. And one of the, day, one of the ways in which we, we do that is, when, is through signs and wonders and miracles and when we minister in healing, either you know, for ourselves or for others, um, and, uh, and when we do it in power. And God desires for us to do that. Um, so we see that um, the healing is not in a method, but is actually in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is, He is the healer. So it's not a formula, it's not a method. So it is about the Lord Jesus and He is the healer and we walk with Him. And uh, in the Bible, we see that there are many ways by which healing is ministered. And one of them is through our personal faith in God. Um, when you look at Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22, it says, my son, give attention to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. In other words, God's word is actually health to our flesh. It is medicine for our body. So when we meditate on his word and when we fix our heart on God's word, we receive faith. And when this faith that comes from God's word is mixed with the word that we receive and uh, uh, then God releases his power to uh, heal and uh, to do the supernatural works. So um, the Lord Jesus, uh, when, when people approached him for healing in Matthew chapter 9 verse 29 says, then he touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, let it be so. So when we approach the Lord, we do so with faith in His Word to heal. We do so knowing that it is His will uh, to heal. And uh, it, so in our personal faith in God, we can express our personal faith and faith can be released in these ways. When we believe and when we speak in faith, uh, like we see in Mark 11 and verse 23, when we, you know, this, this is how faith is released. When we believe in our heart, when we we speak to that mountain, it will be moved. The Lord Jesus says that it will move. So we believe and we speak. Uh, also, when we believe in our heart and when we act, meaning we, we take a step of faith, we do something in line with our faith, then we, we can express our faith. So when we believe and when we speak, when we believe and when we act, um, then faith is released and uh, when we uh, uh, this is Bible-based faith, so faith in God's Word is not a presumption, we're not assuming anything. And when we do that, we can see for ourselves that uh, uh, our personal faith in God results in healing. So today, uh, when you come to God, when we come to God, let's believe that He is who He says He is. Let's build our faith by reading His Word, uh, read, by meditating on His Word, by declaring, believing, and uh, confessing His Word, and acting on His Word. And uh, may we see our sick bodies healed and minds healed for His glory in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that uh, You have called us to this, Lord, to minister in healing the way You did, God. Uh, you want us to walk in Your footsteps, God. And Lord, even as we do that, we pray that we will focus on Your Word, that we, we will fill ourselves with Your Word, that we will meditate on your word. And even as we put our faith in you, Lord, may we see uh, people being healed and delivered for your glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.